YouTube, what's going on? If you're new here, my name's Roger. I own a company called QBO Tactical where we make holsters and gear and also film content for this channel. In today's video, we are taking a look at a new product that several people have requested for me to check out, especially you guys in the Staccato Enthusiast group on Facebook. I'm talking about the Cadre Comp for the Staccato 2011 lineup from Threat Cadre. So as always, I like to tell you guys how I go about getting these products in for review. Uh, a few months back, I was tagged in a lot of posts on the new Cadre Comp. Um, several people have watched our videos on the chunk port from Monsoon Tactical and the stack port from Vulcan Machine Works. Um, after watching those videos, some people were concerned about voiding their warranty by having their guns modified. Um, so they wanted that compensated feel, but they didn't want to chop up their guns. Enter the Cadre Comp. Staccato has recently released a lineup of 2011s called their Limited Editions. Um, these have have aluminum frames and come with factory threaded barrels. With the availability of threaded barrels, it now allows customers to add compensators without having to void their warranty. Okay, so after seeing all of this, uh, I reached out to both Staccato and Threat Cadre. Both companies were aware of these several videos I have previously put out on the 2011 platform. I pitched my idea about putting out a video on the Cadre Comp using a factory threaded barrel, and both companies liked the idea. Staccato then provided me with a C2 and factory threaded barrel, and Threat Cadre provided me with their new Cadre Comp. I will say that like everyone else experiencing delays, I did as well in regards to getting this stuff in for this video. Um, it actually took about 12 weeks to receive everything. So if you two are waiting for either a staccato on order or a cadre comp, um, just know that they are coming. It's just taking longer than expected. Um, I think everyone is experiencing manufacturing delays right now across the board. Okay, with that out of the way, I want to go into the specs of this exact setup that I put together for this video. So you notice from the title of this video, I am calling this the Staccato 2011X. Uh, the reason for this is because I took a full size grip from my Staccato P that has the new tactical texture stippling from the awesome guys over at Extreme Shooters. Use code QVO10 on their website. Sorry, quick plug right there. Anyway, I took that full size P grip and put it on my C2 slide with a threaded barrel. Um, I then added the Cadre Comp to extend the overall length to a little larger than the 4.4 inch Model P. I've always dug the look of a full size grip with the compact length slide. Um, ever since Glock put out their 19X a few years back. So I thought that it would look great on this setup and I think we can all agree it's pretty sweet. Okay, so how did it perform on the range? Um, a little bit of a spoiler alert here guys, uh, this thing is great and I definitely recommend getting one after this range session, especially if you're one of those people out there who are worried about voiding your warranty. Okay, so this past weekend, my girlfriend Jade and I went out to our range spot here in Vegas and as always, we filmed our first rounds through the gun. So here's that footage now. All right, guys, these are going to be my first rounds through our Staccato 2011X build. So again, uh, full size grip, C2 slide, and the Cadre Comp on the end here. Got some 124s. I'm just going to shoot 5, 10 rounds through it, see how it feels. All right, here we go. Holy crap. Okay, this thing is super flat. Uh, way more surprising, uh, way, way flatter than I thought it was gonna be. I've shot a lot of comp guns, uh, like the additional comps, but yeah, this one, nice, nice. All right, I'm, I'm gonna have Jade shoot it now. And just so you guys can see, that is the grouping from that uh, 10 round string of fire that I did. It wasn't necessarily super fast, but definitely was a uh, faster cadence of fire than I would normally do for just trying to get a tight group. So definitely pleased with that. All right, we got Jade up now with the 2011X and the Cadre Comp. Go for it. Wow. <laughs> wow. It feels really good. Feels flat, like you mentioned. Um, yeah, I like how like I can go back and have the sight lined up easy. So that's awesome. As you can see, we both immediately noticed a difference in recoil. Um, I have to say that I'm pleasantly surprised with the recoil reduction. I really am liking the new Hollow Sun 507C with the primary arms ACSS reticle. If you're not familiar with this optic, definitely check out our video on it. This reticle has a guide ring bringing you back to center if you lose the center chevron while aiming. With how flat this comp kept the gun, I was only seeing the chevron in my optic the entire time, which is what you want. Um, the recoil was super minimal and tracking the red dot as the gun cycled was a breeze. Oh, and I know some 
people ask about Jade's last shot and why it didn't cycle. Um, she runs a high grip with her support hand, which presses down on the slide stop as the gun is cycling, uh, so the gun just didn't lock back on empty. Nothing wrong with the ammo or gun. Um, I too was a little confused when I watched that clip. Okay, so moving on to more range footage. You guys all know I love build drills, so here's some footage of me running those now. All right, guys, gonna run one of my favorite drills. You all know the build drill, uh, shooting pan over here for me. It's the C-Zone target from uh, TA Targets, and we are seven yards away, so let's run it. Here we go, stand by. One eighty-eight. First shot was a one oh seven. Uh, I did miss the first shot though. Let's go again. Whew. Stand by. One seventy-nine. Missed the first shot again. One oh one. Stand by. One seventy-seven clean for a shot. One hundred two. What I got in here? And a one seven zero for a shot. Nine four clean. Hey, -o. definitely liking uh, how flat this thing is. It makes it super easy to uh, track the red dot here. As you can see, not my fastest times like in my Staccato XC video, but I'm still really happy with those runs. Um, one thing to note here is that during this range session, we shot facing south, uh, which is great for the camera and our footage. However, we were shooting into the sun uh, because of the time of the day, which does make it a little more difficult to see our targets. Regardless, I'll still take 1.7 build drills all day long. Okay, so you know we had to show this thing in slow motion with the different grains of nine millimeter ammunition on the market. So here's that footage now. All right, guys, like always with the uh, compensated gun, we're going to run a mag uh, through it in slow-mo, and we're gonna show you guys the uh, recoil impulse, how much it recoils with different grains of nine mil ammo. So the first five rounds are gonna be 115, the second set of five will be 124s, and the last five rounds will be some 147s. Here we go. All right, first five rounds, 115, here we go. Next five, 124s, stand by. And the last five, some 147 uh, Ranger Max, I believe, Winchester. So after running 115, 124, and 147 grain ammo through the gun, I have to say that I felt the least amount of recoil when shooting the 124s. Um, what looked best to you guys watching the video? Let us know down below in the comments. I am curious to what you guys think. Now I know the other question I will see down below in the comments is about how the Cadre Comp compares to the other porting systems on the market. So to answer this question, I recorded us in slow motion shooting the Cadre Comp, the chunk port from Monsoon Tactical, the stack port from Volca Machine Works, and lastly my favorite, the Staccato XC. Uh, we filmed all of these clips at 100 frames per second and we used 124 grain 9mm ammo as the control. So let's check out that footage. All right, I'm sure people already ask in the comments and they didn't watch this far in the video, but yes, I know the questions are gonna be coming. How does it compare to the Staccato XC? How does it compare to the chunk port from uh, Vinny and Monsoon Tactical? And how does it compare to the Vulcan Machine Works uh, stack port? So I brought all of those out to record uh, some 124s in slow-mo for you guys, and then you can be the judge for yourself. So here we go. All right, first up, Cadre Comp. And next up, Monsoon Tactical Chunk Port. All right, now we have the Vulcan Machine Work Stack Port.
All right, last up is my favorite, the Staccato XC. Stand by. So I'll get this out of the way for you guys right now. Uh, in regards to the chunk port and the stack port, I'll say this. They all feel very similar and to me, uh, getting the Cadre Comp is just as good if you're looking to go this route so that you don't have to void your warranty. Um, I will also say this, I still stand by that nothing is flatter than shooting my Staccato XC. The Cadre Comp along with the chunk port and stack port all come very close, but when you shoot all of them side by side like I just did here, you'll immediately notice how much flatter the XC is. Now I've been shooting for almost 20 years and instructing for 11 of those. Um, I say this because I want everyone to understand that you can have the coolest, most tricked out guns and while they do allow more room for error, they still aren't gonna make you a great shot. Um, you need to have the fundamentals in conjunction with the cool gear. Uh, Jade's only been shooting with us for a few weeks and I wanted to record her shooting um, the gun with the Cadre Comp setup in slow motion so that you guys could see even with a new shooter who has just learned about proper grip, she's still able to track the red dot as the gun cycles because of how minimal the recoil is with the Cadre Comp. Now we shot that clip using 124 grain nine mil and I wanna show you the clip again next to my slow motion clip of when I shot the same 124 nine millimeter uh, with the compensator. As you can see here, uh, she has a little bit more recoil but she still gets the gun right back to zero, meaning her red dot is lined up properly on target and fires the next round off with no problem. Uh, in time, as she gets more familiar with her thumbs forward grip, recoil will become less and her follow up shots will become faster. Next up, I decided to shoot the Bear Solution Standards Drill since I am enrolled in one of Drew's classes next month here in Vegas. So here's that footage now. All right guys, seeing as how I have a Bear Solutions class coming up with uh, Drew in December out here in Vegas, I figured why not shoot the Bear Solution Standards Drill. As you guys see here, got a clean target. We're gonna go out to uh, five yards and we'll give the drill a go with the uh, Cadre Comp. Here we go. Stand by. Total time, 7.39, first shot was a 1.47. I think I just barely passed it, yeah. So, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, and that three broke the line. Get in there, zoom in a little bit. So, cool, I'll take the uh, 7.39, can you see that there on camera? Cool. So 739 with the Cadre Comp on the Bear Solution standards. I'll take it, I dig it. Um, yeah, this thing is running super smooth. No issues on the range so far. I asked Jade if she wanted to try running the Bear Solution standards drill on camera and she was actually up for the challenge. So here's how she did. Fourteen fifty-one, first shot two forty. Fourteen fifty-one. Let's go look at the target and point them out for us. All right, we got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. I think three. Oh, you ran it clean! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, it's cool. I think the gun really helps, though. <laughs> Feels like cheating. Yeah. <laughs> 
Now, I was pretty stoked for Jade to shoot this drill clean. Um, as you guys can see, she was pretty excited as well. If you're not familiar with this drill, I would recommend checking out the Bear Solutions website where you can print these targets out for free. They are a great drill to shoot with your friends. Um, it's super fun to shoot Cole. It's super fun to turn into a competition among uh, you and your shooting crew, but definitely check it out, especially since it's free. Now, while we still have the Bear Solutions target up, I wanted to shoot a nice little 10 round group. Um, I didn't shoot this super fast or super slow guys, but I just wanted to show you a nice size grouping you can get with a smooth cadence since the recoil is so minimal. Um, now I'll agree with you guys in the comments who are already typing. It's nine millimeter, it's a metal 2011, the recoil is already minimal. Yes, you're 100% correct about that, but you know what has even less recoil? Adding one of these cadre comps to your setup. Good point. And who doesn't want an even flatter shooting gun? The last part of this range session was spent shooting on the move and shooting transition drills on the mini ADAP steel target and C zone target from TA Targets. Um, I like to do these drills in my videos as it helps me see how well I can track the red dot while moving and on multiple targets. The less the gun recoils, the easier it is to transition between targets or to shoot them while on the move. All right guys, so my overall thoughts on the Cadre comp from Threat Cadre. Um, I dig it, and I definitely think it's the route to go if you're wanting a ported staccato that doesn't cost $4,300 like the XC, and if you're worried about voiding the warranty by going with a chunk port or the Vulcan Machine Works uh, stack port. I honestly did not think that it was going to shoot as flat as it did. Um, I've always preferred the integral comp style, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Um, it's priced at 170 bucks, so if you haven't picked up a staccato yet and you wanna go this route, um, I would say make sure you are getting a limited model that has that factory threaded barrel. Uh, for you guys wondering about uh, the comp with aftermarket barrels, I can't really speak on that. I have not shot it and I can't tell you anything about it in regards to function and reliability with aftermarket barrels. Um, the Cadre comp will come with a Surefire timing shim kit that also includes some rock set. Uh, I'm not a fan of this method, but it does do the trick. The comp stayed timed in true through our entire range session of 400 rounds and we did not experience any issues with the setup. Um, now, like all products I review, there are a couple of things I wasn't fond of, so I'll go over those now. So in general, guys, I'm not a fan of comps that thread on, that have to be timed, and are rock set. Um, ever since I was exposed to the Toolless comps like the Mark II from Mayhem Syndicate that we did a video on, um, I've liked getting those instead. They're just easier to install, they click into place, they don't need uh, like a thread locker, um, and they just time on their own. They come off easily so that you can shoot your gun suppressed if you want uh, to do that as well. Um, I also didn't like how the comp lined up with the slide in regards to aesthetics. The comp is machined nicely to match the lines of your staccato slide. However, as you'll notice from these photos here, um, it's just slightly off and the lines don't line up cleanly. It's probably like a 1 8 or a 1 16th of an inch off, which bugs me just a little bit. I've seen other pictures where it is better lined up, so maybe I just got a one off that's a little off. Um, also, because of the longer length and the large port, you're not gonna be able to use this in a Safariland ALS holster. So if you really dig Safariland's ALS, uh, series, then this is not the route for you. Um, however, it will still work in the Blackhawk T series um, as long as you have that Surefire X300 attached. However, as far as function go, guys, uh, this is easily one of the best aftermarket comps I've used in regards to doing its intended job, which is reducing recoil. Before we end this video, I always get questions about holsters and the gear that we use in our videos. Um, this is our standard on the waistband holster. It is a two-piece pancake design with adjustable retention and curves to the contour of your waistline. Um, it is called the standard. It's not just, I'm not just saying it's our standard, it's, that's the actual model name of the holster. So if you go on our website under the, on the waistband section, you'll find it under the 2011 section under the standard option. Um, it's perfect for OWB concealment or plain clothes range days. You can find them on our website qvotactile.com. Uh, the mag carrier is our AIO mag carrier or our all-in-one mag carrier that utilizes a magazine retention device which can be adjusted to fit any double stack 9mm or 40 cal magazine. The Ear Pro that I use are the Axel GS Extremes. Um, they are my preferred in-ear hearing protection and the link down below in the description will save you at least 35% if not more because right now they are having their Black Friday special. So please check out that link down below or watch our review on it as well. Um, guys, that's gonna wrap up our review on my Staccato 2011X with the Cadre Comp from Threat Cadre. Big shout out to the Staccato team and Greg Slemp of Threat Cadre for their support with this video. Um, I really appreciate it guys. Thank you for investing uh, your time and effort and products with us. If you guys like the video, please give us a thumbs up down below. If you're new here, consider subscribing because we post new videos every week. If you want to support the channel even further, please check out that Patreon link down below. Our Patreon squad is a huge reason why we can keep making these videos for you guys to all check out. So thank you to them. As always, guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.
microphone check, two, one, two. How's this mic working with the setup we do? <laughs> Got a first timer. <laughs> All right. Looper reel. Yep, we got it. Vicksburg on the Vicksburg. Vicksburg on the Vicksburg. The Vicksburg. Vicksburgs and Vicksburgs. Abby the Rose.